Lion Creek was started by, was founded by four local businessmen, um, and then including the four businessmen, there was 40 investors total started the company. We've been open for about uh, two and a half years. Um, all the investors are local. We're located right behind Lion Creek. But Founders came up with the name before I was involved, so I, I like it because it's local. And it, it continues with the local experience that we're trying going for here. We have a family-friendly atmosphere. There'll be kids running around, dogs. We have a lot of local, loyal customers that have been coming here since we opened. A lot of regulars. A lot of people just like the traditional loggers, which is why we've done so well with our Maverick Lager um, in the local area, especially people that are new to craft beer. Um, and then there's people like myself that prefer the IPAs. Um, we have, you know, six different IPAs on tap at any given time. Um, my personal favorite is the Kickstand IPA. Um, you know, so it's kind of a New England style IPA. A lot of our IPAs, IPAs are leaning that way. Um, but, you know, we've done well with the Barrel Age series that we've released. Um, so really we just try to give a huge variety so that we can have a beer for every kind of customer. I think our, our philosophy is we basically have a wide range of different beers that kind of cover all, the whole spectrum. Our, our flagship is First Crush IPA, uh, and then we also have a Maverick uh, Hellas Lager. We have a cause beer called Hashtag Conserve Georgia. We have a spring version and a fall version, so the current fall version is a, a pecan amber ale. We're releasing this weekend uh, the Acuity of Paws, which is a pilsner. That's in a collaboration with the, uh, the Royal Animal Refuge. For every six pack we uh, sell, we donate a dollar for the Royal Animal Refuge. It actually has the, the winners of their portrait um, uh, contest on the cans. We've also had a successful market and we've concentrated on local um, crafts people to make items and bring their wares here. Um, but we've been doing that once a month on the last Sundays of every month. We are a, a manufacturer uh, facility. All of our ingredients uh, uh, come here and uh, we, all the beers that we make and, and we sell through our tap room are, are made on site. We have uh, uh, many beers kind of coming out. We're honestly releasing about a beer every weekend. Um, so we just had the uh, Knucklehead Seltzer, which is a version of the IPA, same, same fruit, except now it's a, a gluten-free seltzer. We have uh, Stout Side the Perimeter is gonna be our new double chocolate uh, stout. Uh, we have a Cottage Crumble, which is going to be a Cobbler Sour. And then we're releasing our next Blind Wolf series, which is our Barrel Age series. And that's going to be an Imperial Porter aged in maple syrup bourbon barrels. It's, it's delicious. When I canned it, I had it splashed on me and it, uh, I smelled of uh, breakfast all day. It was, it was great. <laughs> We've always had a lot of events, we've always had big parties. What we've done this year is we've kind of created a much bigger patio space outside. We've held all of our big events outside, all of our live music is outside. We keep our food vendors there. Um, we try to limit the inside capacity as best we can. Um, but you know, we, we still try to provide a place where people can come and, and get away.